What is up, Fence Fam? Joe Everest, the Fence Expert. Welcome to another hot take clip, a short clip of a recent live Q&A on my main YouTube channel. For more information on my main channel, as well as exactly the content this clip was pulled from, check out the description below. Jason Ferris, welcome. How to overcome. I like this channel. Um, or I like the sound of the channel. I have to watch it. What's your thoughts on driving post over concrete? Wood and for wrought iron. Um, wrought iron probably meaning steel. Um, not including gates. <sighs> Jason, the size, because this is this is a pretty big discussion. And this is a, it's a fair question because it's a, it's a discussion that's going on right now in the industry. If you can drive, if you live in an area where your ground will accept driven post, drive them all day. Done. Now, in our company, we went, we bought the driver, we invested in some taller posts. We were going to drive these posts, right? And I have a couple of rent houses in a couple of different parts of town, and we were going to, we're going to build fence around them anyway. So let's try driving the post because as the owner of the house, I'm a little bit more lenient with, uh, you know, with testing out new things. I wouldn't want to test something new on a client's house, right? So, and if we failed probably on 60 or 70% of the holes, it, it would, the the post would reject before it got to the proper depth. I mean, it would just stop. And then when we pulled them up, so, so, so what we ended up doing was we put two guys on this driver, like really giving it some pressure. Well, then it just starts splitting out the post at the bottom. So they're hitting rock and they're rejecting, they're stopping and it's going to, and it starts to deform the post. So if it's 60 or 70%, you're still going to have to drill some holes. My thought is if we're already drilling holes, then we're not going to have two methods. If we're already using one method, then there's no sense using some sort of hybrid method where we drive some and we set some. I really think it's all or nothing. Now, uh, you said not including gates, but gates is a decent part of this discussion too, to where, you know, if you're setting your post, for gates, but you're driving for the rest of them. I don't, I'm not, I don't get that either. One of the benefits of driving is you can build on it the, the day you drive it. So there's some interesting videos out there. I was watching, it was a commercial operator or, or a, a, a contractor building commercial fence at an airport. They had like three crews. They had one crew that was laying everything out. They had another crew that was coming through dry, you know, driving the post. And then they had a crew following that that was putting up the wire. And it was just, it was a conveyor belt of fence. It went from no fence, the fence done in the same process. It was slick. And you want to talk about labor savings where now you're not coming back, you know, two or three days later, that sort of thing. It made sense. But for us in our area, did not happen. It just, it couldn't happen. It, the, the post rejected for rock. If you can drive it though, if you're in an area, I get so jealous of guys like Cannon and Mark Olson and, and guys in the Southern States, uh, Dan Blanc that can drive these posts. I'm so jealous of you. If I could drive them, I would. The benefits, the benefits are massive of driving, but some of us live in parts of the country where that's simply not an option. What are your thoughts on driving posts? Yes. Do that over concrete. Absolutely. Um, what, so wrought iron, so we're probably talking about steel ornamental. So wrought iron isn't, um, uh, I guess it's a term for a fence, but not actually speaking to an exact fence. Right. And it's usually called wrought iron in our area, wrought iron, W R A U G H T. I believe that's a guess, but I'm pretty sure it's wrought iron. So lots of people have different terms. We're typically talking about ornamental steel. So the steel posts typically aren't, the walls aren't typically heavy enough to be driven. Uh, without splitting out sort of thing. So I've seen guys do this similar to vinyl where they would drive a steel post and then sleeve the, the ornamental post or the vinyl post over it. Certainly an option. Even if we could drive, I think we would still probably, we would drive chain link and wood. I think we'd probably still set uh, ornamental aluminum and steel. Ornamental aluminum for sure because you have to build it. Well, okay. Here's another discussion. You don't have to. We build it as we go. One guy's opinion, right? But I hope, Jason, I hope that answers your question. If not, drop me in the comments below.